सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बिगिन द हॉट्स ओके मीन्स टू से द हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल क्वेश्चन सो आई द आई द नेम सजेस्ट दैट हायर ऑर्डर थिंकिंग मीन्स टू से यू हैव टू थिंक यू हैव टू थिंक डिफरेंटली ओके सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज एट हंड्रेड किलोग्राम ऑफ मोटार कंसिस्ट ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट सैंड थर्टी थ्री परसेंट सीमेंट एंड रेस्ट लाइन मीन्स टू से Yeah, I think you have seen what is motor. Motor means to say, as we we make a uh, we prepare a paste for uh, our brick work whenever we are uh, making a wall of our house. Okay, so just like that, a motor means that. Okay, so it is it is of eight thousand eight hundred kg, and here the composition of different components are given. Uh, so what is the mass of lime in motor? It says. we have to find the mass so see the question and read the question carefully and try to understand what does it say it is given the percentage not the actual quantity means to say not in kg okay so it is in percentage so we will do we will utilize the percentage so it would be solved like this yeah here so मास ऑफ मोटर एट हंड्रेड के जी परसेंट ऑफ सैंड फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ सीमेंट नो मास ऑफ लाइम नेदर यू हैव गिवन परसेंट ऑफ लाइम नोर यू हैव गिवन द मास ऑफ सैंड और सीमेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू फाइंड द परसेंट ऑफ लाइम सो परसेंट ऑफ लाइम इज evaluated by subtracting 100 minus 55 plus 33 because collectively any material or any product or any substance is 100 percent by the addition of all the compositions constituents so percent of lime is 12 percent yeah i have subtracted the percent of sand and cement so the rest will be lime that is 12 percent so then now mass of lime mass of lime would can be evaluated by 12% of 800 kg yeah 12 upon 100 into 800 so then it is 96 kg so mass of lime is 96 i always mention a closing statement you all to add at the end of the solution and this that is this hence the mass of lime in mortar is 96 kg actually this is a, a must step okay we have to compulsorily add this line okay now the next stage in an examination there are three papers each of 100 marks a candidate obtain 53 marks in the first and 75 marks in the second paper so how many marks must yeah here there is a printing mistake or you can say it is a max so it will be uh, uh, letter r is missing you can add a m a r k s marks and again here uh, the same then it is again m u s t it should be m u s t so the letter misplaced uh, so you can uh, uh, correct this so it says how many marks the candidate obtain in the third paper to get and uh, overall of 70% marks so it says you know he has appeared in three papers and each contains 100 marks fm full marks and the candidate obtained 53 marks in the first and 75 marks in the second and it says how many marks the candidate obtained in the third paper to get overall 70% means to say we know a lot about uh, the marks in uh, exams yeah you can compare it with your own uh, progress report that is full marks of each paper 100 marks obtained in first paper 53 marks obtained in second paper 75 and required overall percent is 70% and for that marks obtained in third paper we need okay so as uh, you have done first of all first of all total marks of all papers all three papers are collectively 300 as you appear in uh, six papers so you have full marks of 600 okay just like that it has appeared in three papers so total percent or overall percent you can say 
and total marks uh, for 70 percent would be 70 percent of 300 okay and that is 210 so if you have to get 70 percent then you have to uh, you have to get 210 marks in all understood so marks in first paper plus marks in second paper plus marks in third paper is it should be collectively 210 so i added these all the numbers but uh, we don't know the third paper's marks so it is 82 after doing this so again for uh, write a closing statement like this okay so the third question i'm just uh, trying to make you understand the statement of the line and you have to solve this and it is your own ambika got 99 percent in mathematics 76 in hindi 61 in english 84 percent in science and 95 percent in social science okay so if each subject carries 100 marks then find the percentage of marks obtained by ambika in the aggregate of all the subjects so aggregate of uh, all subjects and its percentage means to say collectively you have to find the overall percentage okay means to say out of 500 because they have she has five subjects that is one two three four five so just like this and for question number a man travels 60 km by car uh, again the spelling mistake 240 km by train what percent of total journey did he travel by car and uh, what percent by train so you can do this it's uh, not a complete uh, not a not a hot question okay you can do this on your own so i hope you will, you will do this 